Okay, so these are the toss-ups of authors and works of the section of my study guide that is Eugene O'Neill through Tennessee Williams. There are a grand total of, not that many, 34 toss-ups. So let's go ahead and get started. So good luck. And let's begin. Toss-up number one. In a twist ending to a novel by this author, Dr. James Shepard is the new sidekick of a detective until it is revealed that he killed the title character. This author wrote the book where Justice Wargrave and Nine Killers are invited to Soldier Island. This author of The Murder of Roger Ackroyd and Curtin wrote about a Belgian detective who uses his little gray cells to prove that every passenger on a train murdered Mr. Ratchet. For ten points, name this British author of And Then There Were None and Murder on the Orient Express, who created created the detective Hercule Poirot. And that is uh, Agatha Christie. Toss up number two. One character in this novel attempts to collect a thousand dollar reward from the New Hampshire relatives of a slain woman by accusing his former bootlegging partner of murder. This novel's protagonist shacks up with waitress Bobby Allen after beating his foster father, Mr. McEachern, with a chair. This novel ends with Byron Bunch and Lena Grove searching for Joe Brown, whose real name is Lucas Birch. Another character in this novel, who was given up for adoption on the holiday that was made his last name, slits Joanna Burden's throat in Jefferson, Mississippi. For 10 points, name this William Faulkner novel in which Joe Christmas appears. And that is A Light in August. Toss-up number three. A house in this play was previously owned by Jack Straw and Peter Ocello. After one character in this play tells another, I love you, the latter character says, wouldn't it be funny if that were true? One character in this play requires a crutch after injuring himself running hurdles. Later, that character admits that he is fed up with everybody's mendacity and learned that his friend Skipper had gay feelings for him. At the end of this play, Maggie lies that she is having a baby with Brick to help secure the inheritance of the cancer-stricken Big Daddy. For ten points, name this play by Tennessee Williams about the Pollitt family. And that is Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Toss-up number four. One of this author's protagonists uses a drug developed by Magnus Lane to experience the 14th century unrequited affair between Isolde Carmenau and his doppelganger Roger. In a story by this author of The House on the Strand, Mr. and Mrs. Trigg are among the victims of a series of attacks that Nat Hocken realizes occur only at high tide. In one of this author's novels, the protagonist inadvertently attends a ball wearing a replica of a dress belonging to the deceased title character due to the machinations of Mrs. Danvers. The unnamed narrator is the second wife of Maxim de Winter in that novel by this author, which opens last night I dreamt I went to Manderley again. For ten points, this Cornish woman who wrote The Birds and Rebecca. And that is Daphne de Maurier. De Maurier. Toss up number five. A character in this play reflects that she had two dreams to become a nun and to become a professional pianist. Symbols in this play include whiskey, which is continuously becoming more dilute, and a constantly blaring foghorn. A penny pinching character in this play was typecast as a Shakespearean actor, so he can't find a job. The servant Kathleen and the quack Doc Hardy are minor characters in this work. Every time one character goes upstairs, she injects morphine. At this play's end, Edmund announces that he has to to his mother, Mary Tyrone. For 10 points, name this semi-autobiographical play by Eugene O'Neill. And that is Long Day's Journey into Night. Toss up six. In a poem by this author, a woman cries out in dismay at what a god had wrought to please her son. Thetis is horrified by the title imagery in this man's Shield of Achilles. And in another of his poems, the speaker notes that the torturer's horse scratches its innocent behind on a tree. That poem begins about suffering they were never wrong, the old masters. A poem by this man begins in one of the dives on 52nd Street and is titled for the day that Nazi Germany invaded Poland. For ten points, named this author of Musée des Beaux-Arts and September 1st, 1939. And that is W.H. Auden. Toss-up number seven. An Easter sermon in this novel is delivered by the visiting Reverend Shigog. A narrator of this novel was castrated after he attacked a group of girls when a gate was left open by the maid Dilsey. The narrator of the second section of this novel drowns himself in the Charles River. This novel opens with a character looking for lost golf balls with luster... Uh, and a character in it slaps his sister for getting her drawers muddy. That sister loses her virginity to Dalton Ames in this novel. The central family of this novel includes the beloved sister Caddy, the Harvard student Quentin, and the mentally handicapped Benji. For ten points, name this novel that centers on the Comson family, which was written by William Faulkner. 
That is the sound and the fury. Toss-up number eight. In one play by this author, a god is in, in disguise, says Abraxas Galagalat say, say to dispel creatures surrounding a horrifying statue of himself. This 20th century author wrote about the Marxist agent Hugo's assassination attempt on Herderer in Dirty Hands and reworked classics in a play where Zeus refuses to intervene in Aegisthus' murder and the title creatures grow into furies that plague Orestes. This author of The Flies also depicted a second empire-style room where Estelle, Inez, and Garçon realize that they will spend eternity together since hell is other people. For 10 points, name this French thinker whose play, No Exit, illustrates his existentialist philosophy. And that is Jean-Paul Jean Sartre. Sartre. Toss up nine. After this novel's protagonist is expelled for refusing to follow the standard practices in his field, he goes to New York City to work for Henry Cameron. His best friend joins a major New York firm, and he falls in love with the niece of a socialist leader. The protagonist later agrees to help his college friend build Cortland to build Cortland homes, but when his friend Peter Keating does not follow his directions, he denote, detonates the project with the help of his future wife, Dominique Franson, or Francon. For ten points, name this novel about a rogue architect, Howard Rourke, a work by Anne Rand. And that is The Fountainhead. Toss up ten. This author wrote about Earth stirring in her winter sleep in a poem that ends, Despite the snow, despite the falling snow. In addition to writing She Tells Her Love, this favorite poet of Val in A.S. Byatt's possession told about the difference between the naked and the nude. He recalls two girls' attempt to peek down his pants to learn about the male anatomy and learning about literature from George Mallory in an autobiographical work that tells the atrocities of World War I from the viewpoint of a member of the Royal Welsh Fusiliers. He described a character normally known as bumbling lame fool only as feigning his idiocy in a work partially based on Suetonius in which Livia schemes to ensure Sure, the succession of her son Tiberius. For ten points, name this author of Goodbye to All That and I, Claudius. And that is Robert Graves. Toss up 11. The narrator of this novel fails to complete his, complete his thesis on Cass Mastern when he experiences a lack of focus he terms his great sleep. Mrs. Little Paul's brother commits suicide in this novel when he loses his job at the power company due to the bribery Judge Irwin. Sugar Boy O'Sheen is hot-headed chauffeur of one character in this work. In this novel, the one character's affair with Anne Stoughton is revealed by Tiny, Tiny Duffy, causing the surgeon Adam to shoot a character known as the Boss. For ten points, name this novel narrated by Jack Burden, a chronicle of the rise of the solo politician Willie Stark, written by Robert Penn Warren. And that is All the King's Men. Toss-up number 12. A poem by this man describes a character that used to break one, two, three, four, five pigeons just like that, and the title figure of that poem used to ride a water-smooth silver stallion. Another of his poems discusses a character whose rectum was egged by officers and was more brave than me, more blonde than you, and whose warmest heart recoiled at war. Riding... How do you like your blue-eyed boy, Mr. Death? This author of Buffalo Bill's Defunct described a character who sang his didn't and danced his did throughout the seasons in a place with up so floating many bells down. For ten points, name this American poet who wrote, I sing of Olaf, big, glad and big, and anyone lived in a pretty how town known for his unusual use of punctuation and capitalization. And that is E.E. E. Cummings. Toss up 13. When the narrator hears the name of this location, he remarks that it has such magic power that the phantoms of those haunted late years begin to take flight. A man makes the sign of the cross on his deathbed after returning from Italy to die at this estate. A Christmas holiday spent at this estate is ruined by the presence of Mr. Samgrass, who was hired to control the drinking of a man who brought his teddy bear, Aloysius, to Oxford. After being invited by Lady Marchmain and her son, Sebastian Flight, this estate is visited by the narrator, Charles Ryder. For ten points, name this house that is revisited in a novel by Evelyn Waugh. And that is Brideshead from Brideshead Revisited. Toss-up number 14. This author wrote a travelogue detailing his visit to the Bandung Conference in The Color Curtain. The title character of one work by this author forges a note from Mr. Falk to check out a book by H. L. Mencken. This author wrote a book that ends after the title character is beaten up during a May Day parade and kicked out of the Communist Party. A novel by this author describes Charlie's Kitchen Shack was criticized in the essay Everybody's Protest Novel by James Baldwin. This author of the autobiographical Black Boy wrote a novel about the trial of the protagonist for the murder of Mary Dalton. For ten points, name this author who wrote about Bigger Thomas in Native Son. 
and that is Richard Wright. Toss-up 15. At the beginning of this novel, Mary Debenham mysteriously tells a colonel, not now, when it's all over. In this book, Cyrus B. Hardman is frustrated they can't find a small, dark man with a womanish voice. A man in this novel learns that many women's dressing gowns are corn-colored and blue satin, but fails to find a scarlet kimono. The protagonist of this novel discovers that Samuel Ratchet is actually Cassetti, who fled America after kidnapping Daisy Armstrong. Later, the protagonist deduces that Cassetti was stabbed to death by his fellow passengers. For ten points, Hercule Poirot investigates a crime aboard a train in what Agatha Christie novel? And that is Murder on the Orient Express. Toss-up 16. One of this man's works features Dolly and Beulah, whose gossip about the affair between la the lady and the snakeskin-clad musician Val. Another of this man's characters comments, wouldn't it be funny if it were true when discussing true love? This playwright of Orpheus Descending and Sweet Bird of Youth wrote about the Mexican tour guide Lawrence Shannon, who unties the title creature in his play The Night of the Iguana. He created a character who has always depended on the kindness of strangers the melodramatic Blanche Dubois. For 10 points, name this playwright of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof and A Streetcar Named Desire. And that is Tennessee Williams. Toss-up 17. A character in this novel argues about whether it is better to have a fat dog or a thin dog with his sister, Beatrice Lacey. Late in this novel, Frank Crawley reveals that he is prepared to pay off the blackmailer, Jack Favell. A flare from a shipwreck stops the suicide attempt in this novel, whose protagonist dresses up like a portrait of her husband's ancestor, Caroline, and thus ruins a ball. This novel's protagonist, who is continuously undermined by the devious housekeeper, Mrs. Danvers, eventually learns the true fate of its title character, Maxim de Winter's first wife. For ten points named this novel that begins last night i dreamt of i went to manderley again the most famous novel by daphne de maurier and that is Rebecca. Toss-up 18. In a 1926 work by this author, a Greek mask is worn first by Dion and later Billy as both live with Margaret. Another play by this author of The Great God Brown you, that uses masks is a 1928 story of Nina Leeds' Strange Interlude. This author of Ah Wilderness set his autobi autobiographical play in August 1912, takes place in real time, and sees Edmund tell his mother, Mary, a morphine addict he has tuberculosis. The story of the Tyrone family is told in Long Day's Journey into Night for 10 points by what American playwright who also wrote The Iceman Cometh? And that is Eugene O'Neill. Toss-up number 19. One of this poem stanzas singles out the habit-forming pain, mismanagement, and grief, saying, we must suffer them all again. It also suggests that Thucydides knew all that a speech can say about democracy. In its second stanza, this poem speaker notes that I and the public know what all school children learn, namely that those to whom evil is done do evil in return. The speaker of this poem mentions what Mad Nijinsky wrote about Diaghilev and declares that we must love one another or die. This poem begins in one of the dives on 52nd Street and envisions waves of anger and fear stemming from what occurred at Linz, a reference to Hitler's birth. For 10 points, name this W.H. Auden poem about the day that World War II began. And that is September 1, 1939. Toss-up number 20. In one work by this author, a pair of young children deliver love letters sent between Uncle Mari and Mrs. Patterson. A character created by this author pretends to be a doctor and gives a woman turpentine after taking advantage of her need for an abortion. This creator of the pharmacist, McGowan and Dewey Dell, wrote a short story in which a gray hair is found behind Homer Barron's corpse and set many works in a fictional Mississippi county called Yachnapapatofa. In addition to A Rose for Emily, this author wrote a work about the Bundren and several about the Comsons. For 10 points, name this American author of As I Lay Dying and The Sound and the Fury. And that is William Faulkner. Toss-up 21. A character in this play used a work in an office described as a black hole. After one character loses her mirror, another character in this play offers to be her glass. This play ends with the line, ah, let's then let's continue. This play is set in a Second Empire-style room with a non-functioning bell that is tended by the valet lacking eyelids. This play features a woman who killed her child from an illicit affair and a man who eventually declares hell is other people. For 10 points, identify this play about Estelle, Inez, and Garçon, the most famous work of Jean-Paul Sartre. 
and that is no exit. Toss-up number 22. One play by this author centers on the murder of Bjorn Faulkner. Another work by this author of the night of January 16th, the pirate Dagnar Renigsgold and Hank Reardon fight against the Equalization of Opportunity Act. One character created by this author almost has his career destroyed by Ellsworth Tuhi and Gail Wynand. This author, who created Dagny Taggart and the architect Howard Rourke, asks the question, who is John Galt? For ten points, name this author of Atlas Shrugged and The Fountainhead. And that is... Anne Rand. Toss-up 23. Theophilus McCaslin makes his sole appearance in this novel to pray over the grave of one character that is that as he is being buried. In this novel, the only survivor of a fire that destroys a house designed by a French architect is Jim Bond. Henry unknowingly meets his half-brother, the son of Eulalia, while attending college in this work. Wash Jones murders the husband of Ellen Coldfield in this novel, in which Charles Bond becomes engaged to Judith before the revelation of both his relation to her and his black ancestry. This novel is narrated by Shrev, a, the Canadian Harvard roommate of Quentin Compson. For ten points, named this novel by William Fox about Thomas Sutpin. And that is Absalom, Absalom. Toss up 24. This author wrote of Jerry, Slim, and Sweetwater and their relationships with Sue Mc Murdoch in At Heaven's Gate. He supported racial integration by publishing a set of interviews with civil rights leaders in Who Speaks for the Negro. In addition to World Enough and Time and At Heaven's Gate, this author wrote the poem Blackberry Winter. In a novel by this man, Adam Stanton shoots the boss after his sister Anne has an affair while Jack Burden reports on the political rise of a Southern governor. For ten points, name this author who used Huey Long as inspiration for Willie Stark in All the King's Men. And that is Robert Penn Warren. Toss up number 25. One character in this novel gives a request to tell Jan hello and admits that early on he knew that he would someday he would either kill him kill himself or somebody else. The protagonist of this novel beats up Gus when they meet to rob Bloom's delicatessen. A couple eats fried chicken at Charlie's Chicken Shack to experience black life in this novel, in which the protagonist forges a ransom note with the signature Reds. In this novel, Bessie is murdered with a brick in an attempt to cover up the death of a woman who he who was beheaded and shoved into a furnace. Despite support of Jan Erlone and Max, Boris Max's defense, the protagonist of this novel is sentenced to electrification for his accidental suffocation of Mary Dalton. For 10 points, name this novel about Bigger Thomas, written by Richard Wright. And that is Native Son. Toss up 26. In one work by this author, Paul Pennyfeather is expelled from Oxford when he runs across campus without pants on. Another work by this author is based on this author's experience with the Daily Mail and features protagonist William Boot. And another work by this author, Tony Last, is held captive and forced to read the complete collection of novels by Charles Dickens in perpetuity. In a more famous work by this author, Charles Ryder has an affair with Julia, who is the sister of Sebastian Flight. For 10 points, name this author of Decline and Fall. Scoop, A Handful of Dust, and Brideshead Revisited. And that is Evelyn Waugh. Toss up 27. A character in this play sarcastically claims to be a czar of the underworld in a speech in which he calls another character a babbling old witch. This play features two scenes in which a woman sells subscriptions to the companion over the phone. It is revealed that a character in this play has been visiting the penguins at the zoo instead of going to Rubicam's business college. In the last scene, this play's protagonist is told to blow the candles out by the narrator, her brother Tom. That protagonist of this play was nicknamed Blue Roses by a gentleman caller named Jim O'Connor. For 10 points, name this Tennessee Williams play by title for Laura Wingfield's collection of statuettes. And that is The Glass Menagerie. Toss-up 28. In this novel, a dead character realizes that for people to whom sin is just a matter of words, salvation is just words too, while praying with Cora. A character in this novel repeats the line, he could do so much for me if he just would. And one man in it listens, lists 13 reasons why he made a coffin on the bevel. A chapter in this novel consists of only, one, only of the line, my mother is a fish. Darl is sent to an insane asylum for burning down Gillespie's, Gillespie's barn during the the journey in this book made by the Bundren family to bring Addie's coffin to Jefferson and Yaknop of Atofa County. For 10 points, name this novel by William Faulkner. 
and that is As I Lay Dying. Toss up 29. In one scene from this novel, the protagonist enjoys a hamburger at a remote roadside diner, but is shocked to find that the man behind the counter is philosopher Hugh Axton. After the protagonist's sister-in-law commits suicide, the protagonist of this novel and her steel magnet lover go to dinner, where they see a message written by Francisco Danconia, a childhood friend of protagonist Danny Taggart, or Dagny Taggart. Railway worker John Galt attempts a revolution in this book and delivers a 70-page speech in which he outlines the author principles of objectivism. For 10 points, name this novel by Anne Rand. And that is Atlas Shrugged. Toss up 30. One character in this play is mocked for not knowing which side of a cow has horns, and he tries to <coughs> to play the song, The Sunshine of Paradise Alley. Another is the son of a wealthy bucket manufacturer named Bill Oban. This play's three female characters include Margie and Pearl, who call themselves tarts rather than whores. The proprietor of this play's indoor setting hasn't left it for 20 years since his wife's Bess's death. Don Parrott finds an ex-anarchist named Larry in this play, whose intoxicated cast talks with salesmen named Hickey about their pipe dreams. For 10 points, name this play about the deadbeats at Harry Hope's Bar by Eugene O'Neill. And that is The Iceman Cometh. The Iceman Cometh. Toss up 31. The narrator of this book decides to become a writer after borrowing Fox Library Car to check out H.L. Mencken's collection Prejudices. While working for an optical company, this book's narrator is tricked by Olin into fighting with his co-worker Harrison. Near the end of this book, the narrator leaves the Communist Party after witnessing the trial of his friend Ross. This book's second section, The Horror and the Glory, describes the narrator's encounters with racial prejudice in Chicago and was originally published separately as a American Hunger. Its first section, Southern Night, begins with its author relating how he accidentally burned down his family's house in Mississippi. For 10 points, name this autobiography of or by Richard Wright. <clears throat> and that is Black Boy. Toss up 32. One character in this story arrives in town as the foreman of a sidewalk paving crew. The central figure of this tale is compared to angels in colored church windows and works as a teacher of China painting. That character is given an exemption from paying taxes by the mayor before becoming a recluse attended only by the servant Toby. The title character is seen buying rat poison and soon thereafter Judge Stevens orders the spreading of lime near that character's house. For 10 points, name this story that ends with the discovery of a stray a strand of gray hair next to the desiccated body of Homer Barron, a work of William Faulkner. And that is a rose for Emily. Toss up 33. One character in this play thanks his friend for sending a custard to his sick mother. The uh, Varsuviana is a recurring song in this play because one woman once heard it at the Moon Lake Casino with Alan Gray. The costume jewelry of one character in this play causes a brother-in-law to cite the Napoleonic Code. That brother-in-law later throws a radio out a window in this play featuring a blue piano. A character in this play who loses Belle Rev later says she is always dependent upon the kindness of strangers before being institutionalized. For 10 points, name this play, set in New Orleans, about Stanley and Stella Kowalski and Blanche Dubois, a work of Tennessee Williams. And that is a streetcar named Desire. Toss-up number 34. One character in this novel... Is it a novel or a play? I think it might be a play. So, nevertheless, one character in this novel or play, carries out an affair with a Polynesian man named Avihenna. A brother and sister named Peter and Hazel become engaged to the central characters, though both engagements are broken. One character's brother, Dave, ran off with an Indian girl named Marie Brantome. That union produced Adam Brandt, who has an affair with Christine, who kills Ezra. For 10 points, name this play in which Orin commits suicide at the behest of Lavinia, a work about the Manans that is a retelling of the Oristia by Eugene O'Neill. So that was a typo. It was a play, not a novel, and I'm now fixing it. And that is, of course, Morning Becomes Electra. Morning Becomes Electra. So that's all the toss-ups, 34 of them. So it was not that long. Hopefully you've benefited, learned something, and are now eager to keep learning. Do indeed keep learning.